kid, I always wanted to take the Trans-Siberian because it seemed so far away and romantic and freaky. I imagined Tartars and Mongolians cooking in their cabins and trading with Turkmen and Urgers for rare and delicate silks. But instead what I got was trees, lots of trees, interspersed with rotten industrial wastelands and then peppered with some failed Stalinist industry. And then of course more and more trees. It ended up being stultifyingly boring. I guess this is pretty romantic. She's nice. She's got some cucumbers. Lasiba. Okay. Uh, my friend. We're in Shimonovska in the middle of fucking nowhere. We've been on the train for about 12 hours. Got to be Lou Blue. Got to be Lou Blue. Okay. This is where we've been staying for the past day and a half. It's very smelly. Now the problem with these impossibly long distances in Siberia is that there's nothing to do on the train but drink. But your sleeping compartment is so fucking hot that you have to drink in the dining car. This dining car, this was how the dining cars were in the 50s and 30s and 40s on the Trans-Siberian Express. It's pretty great. First of all, you come into the Oasis, you've got some 3D holographic unicorns, we've got a rearing stallion, quite virile. And over here, you've got vodka. Just, this is just booze, basically. Here we've got Our Lady. Hello. Can we look at your thing? Yatube Lublu. Okay. Hi, America. And over here, some very important dials. This guy here likes to drink with us. He's good vibes. Look who's come. We're in luck. This is our translator. He was born here in Russia. They lived in North Korea until his mom said, this is terrible. Came back to Russia. He's been living in Russia ever since. He's going to translate for us, and then hopefully we'll get it all right. Now I love the dining cars on the Trans-Siberian. The only problem is, is that there's Russians there getting drunk as well. Oh shit. Hello. How are you? Are you okay? This guy's buddy just got arrested uh, by the cops for smashing some shit up. They're very drunk, as opposed to us. Да, очень близко. Я вот этим глазом вообще ничего не вижу, только этим. Только этим? Да. Вот так лучше. Да. we got crazy, dude. Ты не против со мной выпить водки? Почему мне до сих пор вот видишь не налито? Чего вы за американцы? That's for you here. Так, давай поверьте. Братан, ты-то еврей, еще больше еврею рассказывать, как тебе расти, что ли? It's a very good thing I've taken a Xanax, otherwise I'd be a bit worried about our 17-year-old <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The interim between sort of mildly friendly drunk and psychopathically pull your eyeball out drunk. There's this sort of level of like, I hate your fucking guts. No, you're okay. We're buddies, we're buddies, we're buddies. I want to kill you. So <laughs> you've got to stay somewhere in this gauge. Do they think that you're a bit of a pussy for not being a Russian tough guy? They hate me, essentially. <laughs> oh shit, we're in the tunnels. Get away. I'm tickling the birdie. No, you can't touch me there for a dollar. Hello. Yeah. He wants to trade you a ring for something. No. That's my marriage, my wife. That's my marriage, my wife. That's my marriage. No, it's a marriage. Why is it on the right? On the left. It's not on the left. Here's the left hand. Here's the right hand. Are you crazy? Look. Right, left. Here's the right hand. Here's the right hand. Here's the right hand. Here's the right hand. Why are you crazy? Here's the right hand. He doesn't remember which of his hands is the left or the right. <laughs> I 
like our Korean guy as all this madness is going on, chaos, and everyone's drunk. And I look over at our Korean guy just sort of serenely eating his mayonnaise. Между прочим, я не считаю, что расовая принадлежность очень важная вещь. Things are evolving. Everyone's up in everybody's shit, and you're like, I got an idea. We're having a few drinks, and meanwhile you got these fucking thugs here with their prison fucking hand tattoos. Oh, for fuck's sake. How about everyone chill out? We have a nice drink and look at the look at the countryside. Is that too much to ask? Can we not have some sanity? Hello. Here come the cops. Let's see if the 14-year-old, five-foot-tall cop is going to get rid of the drunk guy. Being totally wasted is so prevalent that they have special booze police whose only job it is to throw drunks off at the nearest station if they get too blind drunk or murdery. Есть проблема, что вот с этих работ много северных корейцев сбегают, чтобы попасть в Южную Корею. Как это называется предательство? 